All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kaka Dash. I want to say and give double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders, a great millstone for teaching us this word in truth and sincerity, and for ruling well, and salutations to the elect, Lord one on West Seminary's men, and Brachat Yahweh by Shai. It's uh, 1144 my time, and uh, it's all spiritual, all things work through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai, and that's something I want to kind of focus on in this lesson. Um, I saw a video by Apostle Mubar and a couple other videos, and now they've taken it uh, in which um, uh, they were responding to this video that you see right here in front of you with uh, vocab Malone showing up in the, uh, Paris trying to garner attention of the Israelites that are out there, and um. I wanted to kind of focus on, you know, some a couple of things he said. Apostle Gabar had went through the same thing. He went through this, and he had a uh, he uh, responded to Vocab Malone's particular question. You know, uh, are you saved by ethnicity? Let me go right there. Does that mean you're also saved in some way? But UIC Paris group started proclaiming their dogma at you. Here's some things you might want to ask them. If you are saved by your ethnicity alone. Right. So, yeah. Oh, I let them play. But what's the reason you say that you also have to keep the law? Right. So he says, uh, if you're saved by ethnicity alone, then why keep the law? Again, all this is through the spirit. And I just wanted to, to boil it down to it's faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it's faith. It's faith in Yahweh Bashan Al Shai that we believe the word. All right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter two, verse eight. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. And ultimately, faith is a gift that is given from Yahweh Bashan Al Shai through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai. So if you don't believe the things that we say, then, like all the elders been saying, like it just you should just walk down the street. But obviously, we understand that vocab Malone is a set up adversary against the truth, against the word, and against faith. Why do we believe that we the Israelites through faith? You know, to 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 sum it all up in one word, faith. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shinai Shai, because it is true, as the scripture says in the book of Romans. And I believe the beloved elder Apostle Gabar, he brought this same precept out too. Um, the book of Romans, <clears throat> chapter 8, verse 16, right? Romans 8 and 16, it says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons, that word children shouldn't be there, but that we are the sons of the Heavenly Father. And if children, or if sons, then heirs heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Hamashiach if so be we that suffer with him that we may also be glorified with him okay and that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh so it's the spirit that bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Israel because what has Christianity taught us in the world what has what is Christianity teaching you Jakes today they're not teaching that the Lord has a particular nation that he loves and if they do, they claim is that it's the Christian church and it's not. All right. What else do they claim? They claim that the one they even call God and Jesus loves everybody. That's and second of all, well, I should have I mean, first of all, they pushed the names of not even a name, a title of a of, of a power called God. And then they pushed this Jesus Christ nonsense, which that was given to us via our slave masters, colonialism, Edomites. Like Edomite made the word, uh, made the letter J up. So then they pushed that. And this, this is the effects of what over 500 years of so-called Christendom has done to the world. And it's a strong delusion. We brought that out in Kent yesterday. Islam, Christianity, those are extremely strong delusions. And the Lord sent those delusions to people because he didn't give all his people faith. All right. There's the book of uh, Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11 and 7, and I'll get back to the, the point with the video, but the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 7, it says, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? 
but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. And what about people seeking for the truth? But not everybody's going to obtain the truth. I could I, I could honestly throw faith on that list. Not everybody's going to obtain faith because it's a gift and it's only for the elect. All right. And that's something that we weren't taught in these main uh, stream versions of Christianity, whether that be Catholicism, Methodist, Baptist, Protestant, you know, whatever he believes in with apologia or Calvinism. When his own, the creator of his so-called religion, Calvinism, he actually pushed that Peter, Peter and Paul were speaking to Israelites. He said that. But yet you, you, you missed the whole thing. And the reason why you miss it and the reason why you can't understand this is not, one, is not given to you to understand. All right? It's only given to the wise of our people. And the heathen, they can't understand because the Lord is not dealing with you. You see, they, it's like they might as well just take the Bible and take the New Testament because that's what they use to manipulate the people, the minds of the people, because they don't even use the Apocrypha or the Old Testament like that. As if Yahweh Shai was speaking something different than what was prophesied about it. You see? But again, it all boils down to faith, and faith is invisible. You can't see faith. You can't touch it, but it's there, and it, it exists. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You see? And that's what we're hoping for. What are we hoping for? We're hoping to be saved out of this destruction that the Lord is bringing, right, via his only begotten son, nuclear missiles, Okay, we're hoping that the Lord spares us from the wrath that he's about to levy on to his own people, two thirds to be exact, by via the hand of the so-called white man and others and animals and teeth of wild beasts. This is all the wrath of the Lord. All right. So we're hoping to be saved out of that. And these scriptures, they give us comfort. They give us hope in the promises of Yahweh. So again, you can't touch faith, can't see it, but it exists. Because what? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world, that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, which that's Yahweh shot. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You see? Like he asked the question in this. I think he, I believe he asked it because he doesn't believe that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, and those that went through the translated slave trade and the destruction of the Americas are the Israelites. He he he, uh, he he asked about DNA. You could that's something that Esau that's a, he's Edomite science, right? So that he could, could that he could see what the inner workings of the human body is that the Lord created, right? And he don't even understand DNA like that. So, you know, they DNA testing was started by the Amalekites, Edomites, for whatever nefarious purpose. It wasn't to track your lineage down. It wasn't to, to see where your mother came from or your father came from. Because Esau knows who we truly are, right? And it was a, it was extremely manipulative. And that's why them, them Amalekites don't even use it. Because they know they don't go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, right? But we don't need DNA tests. We don't need to have a deed to the land of Israel. We don't have, we, we can't even go back and look at the scrolls and the names of, the, of our forefathers because they don't exist anymore. And if they do exist, they're, they're hidden real deep. So what do we have? Faith. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we keep the laws, right? Because of faith, right? So again, Hebrews 11 and three, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word, and we know the word is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, right? Of the, uh, by, framed by the word of the Most High, so that the things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained sloppy, by which he obtained witness that he was 
righteous, the most high testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated, that he should not see death, and was not found because the most high had translated him. For for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the most high. And that's what drove our forefathers. That's what drives us to this day. Faith. These things we couldn't see. He heard the words of the Lord, Enoch, we're speaking of right now. And then he was translated. He was taken up into a chariot. Like the elect, Lord willing, where some of them are going to be taken up into a chariot. You can't believe that because you can't see it. But if you are part of the, the hopeful elect, you're going to believe. You're going to have faith. Right? Because that's the that's our driving force in all of this. You know? We, we, hope, we have faith that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, will uh, um, see our living sacrifice and accept it. Right? Let's keep on reading. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please to him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right? So you can't expect to please the Most High without faith. It's impossible to please the Lord without faith. Because you got to believe that he is. Yahweh is. That's his name. He is. You got to believe in Yahweh. Bashan Yahweh Shai. So this is why we keep the law. This is why we believe we're the Israelites. All right? Because it's faith. Is the driving force this? Let me play this. It's the reason you say that you also have to keep the law. Does that mean you're also saved in some way by keeping the law? And if so, well, it's through faith. We keep the law. We don't make void the law because because of faith. You see, we don't we don't we don't make void the law just because we have faith. We gotta establish it. Let me do that. Let me get that. Right? There's the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. Romans 3 and 31. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Says, uh, I'll, I'll start at 30. Seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. You see that? And this is how the Lord is going to judge his people. All right, the, the, the circumcision was those that knew that they were Israelites, grew up in the Israelite culture, knew the name of Yahweh. Okay, they even believed, some they even believed on Yahweh Shah. But then you had the uncircumcision, which were Israelites who grew up in different lands, foreign lands, because of the different captivities we were thrown in and forced migrations, right? That came back to the understanding that hey, I'm an Israelite and I do I Lord willing I could take part in the promises that are given to the Israelites. So there's no difference in that. Why? Because it's we're all gonna be justified through what? Faith. Seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Because even though we got faith, we can't just negate the law. So we have to follow it albeit to the best of our ability, but we have to. We have to recognize the law. We have to uh, commend the law, think upon the law. You know what I'm saying? Do we then make void the law through faith? The most high forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Right? What that says in the, uh, NLT? It says, well then, if we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget about the law? And this is what Christian, Christians have done. Christianity, Christianity teaches you to forget about the laws, right? This is the reason why vocab can't understand it. He says, are you saved by the law or by ethnicity? Well, we're saved by faith. In the grace of Yahweh Bashan was shot. That's how we're saved, okay? And all of this plays a part in that. You have to be an Israelite ethnically, not just spiritually. You got to go back to the Israelites. If you're an Israelite, you got a spirit of an Israelite. And to show your faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai, you start keeping his laws. And that, that's an exercise in faith. And through that faith, you'll be saved. 
It's too easy. Well, you would think it was too easy. But clearly, this rockhead, he can't get it because it's not given to him to get it. You know what I'm saying? We don't gotta, again, we don't got to run around here with a ledger of our forefathers. First of all, that is impossible after what we've been through as a nation. Second of all, them, J, them Jays don't even do that. They claim to do it, but that's it's all cat, man. They pe Them people at the highest echelons know that they are not the Lord's people. They know that. But when it comes to us proclaiming this good news, Vocab Malone, he gets offended. He's so driven to destroy and to make a mockery of what Yahweh Bashanel Shai has put together. He he he's super blinded, like them shades he got on his eyes, man. Okay. So again, NLT. When when we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget about the law? Of course not. In fact, only when we have faith do we truly fulfill the law. You see, and that's absolutely true. You, you got to have faith in Yahweh Bashanel Shai, and even even believing on a name. So I had went to this. Will Cam alone to get that other video, and then this popped up. Well, it was it was popped up as his latest video, right? And it says Brit uses BHI or Black Hebrew Israelite, which this is a government term. We're not Black Hebrew Israelites. BHI Bible for sacred name theory. London, June twenty fourth. No, I'm not doing that. Anymore. What language was that? Jesus, you follow me, Jack. Jesus is Lucifer. Jesus is Tegan. If you believe in Jesus, you are watching Satan. If you believe in Jesus, you are watching some of the If you believe in Jesus, you are watching Robin, Tegan, Demonic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And but this Jake, he got the zeal, but it ain't according to the full knowledge. You see, he has the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai on his shirt, right? And then he got all these other names. This is confusion. He got Yahuwah. I don't know what this means. Hallelujah, I think. But I know this says Yahuwah. This says Yahusha, eternal life, uh, Acts 4. And he got this hat on with all these different names on. But he did mention the name of Yahweh. And I don't. I didn't get too far to see if he mentioned Yahweh Shah. But it's on his shirt. And that's because he has zeal. But it ain't according to knowledge. Again, is going to make the faith. Not every Israelite has that blessing. All right. This is uh, Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Matter of fact, I'll start at 1. Because this is what we, we teaching you. Through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Shia Shai, it says, Brother, my heart's desire and prayer for the Most High. I'm sorry, prayer to the Most High. For Israel is that they might be saved. So Paul was praying for Israel. So why would he go to a different nation of people who had nothing to do with being an Israelite? But he, he says his his deepest desire is, is, is that his people will be saved, which ultimately they will be, starting with the elect. For I bear them record that they have, the, have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. And that's what you see in this video right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not sure if the Lord will have mercy on this man and fully wake him up. But you got to have complete faith in the names of Yahweh Bashan Yahushua. And we don't make no mention of any other name because there is no other name. And I think that's what this is, Acts 4 and 12. All right, let me play this some more. Jesus is pagan. If you believe that's in Jesus. Thing too. Jesus, the name Jesus is a is a pagan, worthless name because that's not the name of the Lord. Now, when you speak like that, especially in front of these so-called Christians, they get offended as if we don't believe in a Messiah. Yes, we do. We know his name is Jehovah right? They never called him Jesus when he walked this earth, ever. And there's article upon article upon article, but yet, why is Jesus the name that they push so hard? Because they don't want you coming back to the truth of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah. And when I say you, I'm talking about the Israelites. And the they are the, the super elite of this place. All right? They don't want they don't want Jake to fully come in. So they put they go hard with Jesus and the title of a, a, a God. Those are universal terms, but they believe they believe 
they mean absolutely nothing to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Right? So he's right. That name is pagan. It is rubbish because it comes from paganism. And the Greek word there for Jesus in the Bible and in 1611 is Iesus in the Greek. It's not Jesus. Right? Yeah, what's this? You're a You believe in Jesus. Yeah, what's this? You believe in Jesus. Yeah, what's this? Rubbish. Pagan. Demonic. He says, conversing with sacred namers in London. They insist on using a certain name for Jesus, but know nothing of his actual message. Well, his name is everything. And we do know his, well, I don't know about them. I know we here at Great Millstone, we know about his message because his message is to us. This is Second Edges chapter 2, verse 35. Your houses I will give to a people that shall come, which not having heard me of me, yet shall believe me, to whom I show no signs. And who are these people? Is this heathen nations? No. These are Israelites that grew up, lived in times where we didn't even know the name of the Lord. Right? We didn't even hear of them until the apostles and the bishop elders and the brothers on down. And uh, um, high priest Abba Bivens, man, or Elder Abba Bivens. Baba, Elder Abba Bivens, okay? So the Lord said, he, gonna, he was telling that, just like, Look, I'm going to get this to a, a whole nother people or to give this to a people not a whole nother people as in another nation but israelites who lost their way the lost sheep your houses will i give to a people that that shall come which not having heard of me yet shall believe me to to whom i have showed no signs right we ain't seen no the signs that the the, the prophets of old saw the signs that uh, the apostles and the bishop elders saw, the bishop saw in the ancient world, we ain't see none of that. But yet we believe. Why do we believe? Because of faith. When Yahweh Shai was doing all those miracles, those are signs. Those are positive signs that that is the Messiah. That man right there is the man that Moses was speaking about in the book of Deuteronomy. So that, those were signs. But yet, now we're in a time now where these signs weren't shown like that. Right? So we ain't see no signs, but yet we believe it. Again, your houses will I give to people that shall come, which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me, to whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. Commanded them, right, which is follow the law, call on his name, have faith in, and be patient in him, and wait on him. They have been no there they have seen no prophets, right? Because it we didn't we didn't get to see Nahum, Nehemiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah. Ezekiel, uh, Amos, Micah, Malachi, Moses, King David, Yahushai. Now with these eyes, we ain't seen none of that. They have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance. Because what was the what was besides the prophets speaking of the wrath and judgment to come? They were telling the people to acknowledge their sins. When you acknowledge your sins, you realize that I'm doing something wrong. I need to correct it, and that's what we're doing. We're telling our people that. that that message is not a universal message. It's an exclusive message to the children of Israel and even more exclusive to the elect of, of the sons of Israel. OK. They have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. You see, I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And we are rejoicing in gladness. And we're going to even be more glad when the Lord comes. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things I say. You see? So we ain't see the Lord with bodily eyes. But yet we believe the words that the Lord say in the Bible. We believe these words. These words are faithful and true. And vocab alone can't understand that. And that, we're telling, we're, we're speaking Yahweh Shai's message. To who? Yahweh Shai's people. He's an Israelite. He didn't come for nobody else. And so you got this guy, Volcat Malone, going back and forth trying to uh, figure out, you know, why this guy believes and what he believes in. Well, it starts with the name, too. Because the scripture says there's only one name under heaven where, where who might be saved? We the Israelites. Right? Peter and John arrested, Acts 4 and 12. 
um, neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And for so long, we didn't have these names. These names were, we were without these names, especially in the midst of our enemies who did whatever they could to eliminate that name. That's why they push that God and Jesus Christ shit. That's why they go so hard in that. And that just backs up their white supremacy. That just backs up their false narrative that they've created around the Bible to have the people, the vast mass of the people believing that salvation is for everybody. And again, when you read these scriptures, you realize that is not true. It's for the Israelites, man. All right? So again, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, and those men was the Israelite men, whereby we must be saved. Right? And that name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There is, there is salvation in no one else. The Most High has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Right? And this, again, this is to the Israelites. Right? So, again, that word, that name Jesus, or that term Jesus, it has no meaning to us anymore. That was part of our psychological and spiritual brainwashing. You mean Jesus was from by the Europeans if you think we're You mean peace? Peace? Yeah. Jesus is son of the devil. Rubbish. Yahusha is the original Hebrew name of the Savior. Which is, his name is not Yahusha, it's Yahusha. The original name of Yahweh, uh, the one you originally called Jesus of the Bible, his name is Yahweh. There's no use in the ancient Hebrew. Right? No pagans to be Jesus. No pagans to be God. No pagans. But hey, I'll tell you one thing. This dude closer to, he closer than vocab will ever be. He don't even have the spirit to receive what he's saying. Showing you that zeal that Jake got, and this dude ain't got nothing. So we know, I believe this dude ain't. Uh, What's his name? Vocab Malone. He is not one of our people. This dude, this is this is a cult of personality. John Rock, John Mark Reiser. Vocab Malone, that's an occult personality. This whole image, the, the glasses to the hats, to the to the beard, the sometime beard. All of that. All of that is this is an act. This ain't a person, bro. Yeah? What's the gospel? What is the gospel? What's the gospel? God Jesus, he's son of the devil. <laughs> Which he don't know the God again. That, that's that zeal, but it ain't according to knowledge, man. Because the gospel was written for the Israelites, right? The the lost sheep of the house. And we answering these questions. You want to know what the gospel is? Here it is, man. It's the book of Matthew, chapter ten, verse five. <clears throat> uh, it says, "These twelve, these twelve, the Hawashai sent forth." And commanded them, saying, "Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any and into, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." This is from Yahushua's mouth, bro. This ain't this ain't make believe, bro. This is not a, a a commentary. This is the son of heavenly fathers saying this out of his own mouth. He said, "What? Go not into the way of the Gentiles." And into any city of the Samaritan, into you not. Why? Because the Samaria, Samaria was overrun with uh, natural Gentiles. Two, um, the natural Gentiles had nothing to do with this. Although you had Israelites scattered amongst them, it, wa it wasn't for the apostles back right then to go out there and minister to them. That was going to be Paul's job and ultimately the other apostles when they get raised up. And they have that power upon them. So that it happened. But nonetheless, this wasn't for the natural Gentiles, right? It wasn't for the Samaritans, who were also Gentiles, right? Just looking for Salaki. I just want to see what that word Gentile mean in uh, uh so it says ethnos, right? Ethnos, which is um because they put this word ethnos there a lot in a, in a Greek translation, but it says in the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles. So the Lord told us not to go into any of the cities of the Samaritans and don't deal, don't go to those pagans, those non, those people that, those nations that do not believe in our Lord. 
but yet go rather to the what? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No matter how many times you try to you try to switch it up, it's the same word. Israel, 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 Israel. Yasha Allah, Yasha Allah, Yasha Allah. The house of Israel. Israel. Right? Israel. Israel. It ain't saying going to these other nations, man. He didn't he didn't do that. You see? And so and that's the gospel. That's that that in a nutshell is the gospel. Then the promises and and the and the, and the hope. All right. But then we also prophesying too. We telling you how the Lord's gonna judge this place. When I say this place, I'm talking about Babylon and Great America. All right, how he's gonna judge the earth with fire. He's not going to engulf the whole planet in fire. But America is gonna to be totally engulfed and destroyed by fire, nuclear fire and chariot fire, and other parts of the world, like the state of Israel. That's our land, but it's got to be cleansed. And the Lord's going to cleanse that land, and he's going to make these nations rebuild it for us. That's the gospel. And it's for one people. It's for the Israelites. All right? It's for the Israelites. Um... Okay, Roman 11, 7. So yeah, brothers, I just wanted to bring this out. This was something that was on my spirit. And I wanted to kind of land back off of the, the Apostle Elder Gabar video along with the other brother videos. Just kind of just let you know, man, vocab, you can't understand it because it takes faith. So with that, it's Inshallah, I'm on to the next.